What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my 2021 Christmas home decor tour. Thank you so much to Karma for partnering with me on today's video. You guys already know how much I love Karma. I've been sharing Karma on my channel here for a while and have been using them for even longer. I love Karma. Now, if you don't know what Karma is, Karma is an online browser extension and mobile app that will alert you via mobile push or email when items go back in stock or if they go on sale. To save an item to your Karma dashboard, click the blue slider button up at the top right corner. From there, you'll be able to choose which price drop to be notified as well as save it to a customizable wish list. Karma also allows you to keep all of your shopping organized. Now, I love to make vision boards. I love vision boards. Vision boards allows me to stay focused, whether I'm designing a room or a space or even putting an outfit together. And what I love to do is once I have that vision board nailed down, I like to use Karma to organize my shopping. Basically on Karma, they have different lists. So you can have kitchen, home, fashion, beauty. And within that list, once I have my vision board narrowed down, I can start saving my different items so I can be alerted whether they go out of stock, I can be alerted when they come back in stock, or if I wanna wait for a sale, I can be alerted when they go on sale. But these lists allow me to stay organized and I love this. Another Karma feature that I love is their coupon feature. Now you do have to be on your desktop, so make sure you are on your desktop, but basically when you are checking out, Karma will search the internet to see if there's any promo codes that you can apply to your purchase. This has saved me so much money so many different times because it has alerted me of promo codes that I didn't even know was out there on top of already alerting me when items go on sale. So it's amazing. Karma also has a cashback feature where they give cashback to you and to a good cause. You do want to make sure that you are on your desktop, but basically you can kind of rack up your cash back and get paid out via PayPal. Thank you so much again, Karma, for partnering with me on today's video. And without further ado, let's get into my Christmas home decor tour. So the theme that I went with for this year was a little bit more organic, wild, overgrown, but a little bit of luxury. Okay, so to start in the kitchen, I don't have a ton of decor in the kitchen, but there are a few things to give it a little bit more of that Christmas spirit. Starting with this greenery that I just picked up from Trader Joe's. They have like a greenery, like Christmas mixture, and I actually made a centerpiece for the coffee table. I'll show you guys that. You'll see a theme throughout the whole house. I love greenery. I think it gives it that little bit more of an organic, woodsy feel. And then one thing that's kind of nice and even nicer for decor is shopping your fruits and vegetables in season. I feel like it does kind of add a little bit of that like seasonal vibe to your home. So I just have some fresh pomegranates. And then up in the bar, I just have some greenery again. And then this little nutcracker that I got either last year or the year before. I can't quite remember when I got that, but it's from Target. If they still have it, I will link it. By the way, anything that I can link, I will. I don't know what it is about the holiday season, but I feel like it makes your like cutting boards and things feel so much warmer. And I don't know, around Christmas or the holidays, I feel like there's so much more cooking and baking. So it's, I don't know, it just is very nostalgic to me. And then over here, I actually made some bunk cakes. We're going to a Christmas party tonight. So I'm going to bring these to the Christmas party. And this year I actually got a red and white oven mitt and pot mitt for the holiday season. I don't know what's getting into me, but I'm starting to like red for the holidays. I will be packing these away with my Christmas stuff though. I won't keep these out throughout the whole year. I'm gonna go back to Williams Sonoma today and get the kitchen towels to match for just for Christmas. But that is all that I have in the kitchen for Christmas decor. And then if you look off this way, I have a wreath on this store here, this leads into our bathroom. This is the best wreath I have ever found. I really love how woodsy and organic and just wild it feels. I don't know, it just gives it that very Christmassy feeling for me. I think there's a lot of different Christmas styles that you can do and this one is easily my favorite. 
and then back in the kitchen. And then when you go into our bedroom area, I have a greenery garland over our doorway into the bedroom with some Christmas bells. And the reason why I did this is because this door is always open. I would love to have a wreath on every single door, so I'll have to buy a couple every year. But I just did some greenery on this one with some bells leading into our room. And then into our room, I have a piece of greenery over that mirror. I have some garland over our bed. And then I have this greenery that I bought this year for Christmas. I really like it. It kind of smells funny when you get it, but I really loved how delicate it is. And I don't know, it just, you know what it kind, kind of reminds me of? It's kind of like the Grinch's hair, but I really like it. I think it is so pretty. This door leads into our bathroom. In our bathroom, I brought you guys in here already. We don't have anything other than this real Christmas tree. And again, I just love how wild it is. It totally goes with my vibe, my style. When we are in a house where I have a patio and front door, I am gonna buy a ton of these. I absolutely love them and want to continue to get these for our future home. I just think that they add such a special little touch to our Christmas decor. Someone left a comment because I mentioned how I needed to get a pot for this and they said, you're the queen of pots. I can't believe you don't have a pot to fit this, but I don't, I don't have a pot that fits this tree and I still need to find one if I even make it to find one before Christmas. It's already December 2nd, but it's super cute. I have another one of those wreaths on our front door. Like I said, in the future, I would love to have these on every single door in our home. And I just actually hung these with a command hook because I felt like they actually look better without the wreath hook coming off the top of the door. I feel like this gives it a cleaner look and I can just pull that off. It doesn't ruin the paint. They are amazing. This is the first year I've used them and I love them. And then when you look into our living room from this angle, it feels extra cozy. We have a really, really small space and most of our Christmas decor is in the living room. But I showed you guys a little decorate with me when I did the tree. I love this tree. It's super affordable off of Amazon. I was looking at a tree at CB2 and honestly it would look amazing with the vibe that we have going on. But this one's super affordable. It really does look like a real tree that we went down and chopped out of the forest ourselves, but it's not, it's fake. And a couple of things about the tree. This year I went with a different kind of light. I really wanted it to be full of lights. This is where for the most part, when it comes to my Christmas decor, I still really like kind of that patinaed, old world kind of vibe, but I do like a little bit of glitz when in luxury when it comes to my Christmas decor. I like a little bit of glitter, and I tend to do that on my tree. So this year, I wanted a lot of lights. I wanted it to feel very twinkly, very glittery, very pretty, and almost just really luxe. I added the new lights, which I love. I am obsessed with these lights. They are so magical. I love them. And then I got these glitter balls back here from Target, and I really, really like them. They're so glittery and so pretty. You guys also saw, if you watched the Decorate With Me, I got garland, and I was really picky about the garland. I didn't want wood beads, even though it does go with the vibe. I felt like it was just a little too boho on the tree. So I went with these chunkier silver beads and I like these cause I was afraid of the other ones feeling a little too like Mardi Gras and these are perfect. And then I did get a couple new silver ornaments from West Elm, these ones here. But I actually like these because they blend really well with some of my antique ones. But every single year I get, this is the one that I got this year, I get a new letter J for our last name Jackson for the tree and I feel like it just gives it a little bit of personality since we don't have, you know, all those fun ornaments on our tree. It's a very 
more curated tree and I think that it just gives it a little bit more of us to the tree. So I love finding us a new one. We've been doing that for years now and it's a lot of fun. Last year was really hard. I had to get one off of Etsy, but I got that one this year at Crate and Barrel. And then on the inside of the tree, if you look inside there, don't mind the cords, those little, these uh, green ornaments back there are actually Christmas scent. It's like a Christmas tree. They're called scent sickles. We put 12 of them on the tree. You definitely could get away with just six and then add as they kind of faint a little bit. So it smells very strong in here right now, but we do love it and it really does like make it smell like a Christmas tree in here. So if you have a fake tree, try that out. We also do use Fraser fir in our oil diffuser. This is our tree this year. Oh, you guys, it's so cute. And then the star is new this year as well. I just got that at CB2. When it comes to my gift wrap, I really like to go all out with the gift wrap. And the reason why is because I feel like the gift wrap is a part of the decor. And I did this red on red gift wrap last year and I loved it so much that I did it again this year. This is just the regular wrapping paper in like the regular wrapping, not the Christmas wrapping at Michael's. And it's called, I think it's called Celebrate It is the brand of the wrapping. And like I said, it's just in that regular wrapping where they have the solid wrapping papers and uh, tissue paper and all of that. I still love this so much. I think it's so luxurious and I do go with as big of a bow as I possibly can. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the bows, the ribbon can get a little pricey, but like I said, I do think it's a part of the decor and to be honest, I saved the ribbon. I saved our ribbon from last year and reuse some of it this year. If you just steam it a little bit, it works out just great. And then the tree skirt is from Target. I do think I'm gonna go get the matching stockings. I'm not sure. I, I can't decide if I should do that or not. I think it would go a little bit better and kind of flow a little bit better if I went with a lighter stocking. And then we just have the same greenery up here. On our coffee table, we have this greenery that I actually made. And again, this is just greenery from Target. And then I got some berries from Target. I put a mason jar in the middle and just kind of played with it until I liked it. I liked it very overgrown, very organic, made it feel like it was the outside coming in. And the other thing about the greenery that I like is that it brings a little bit more of that fresh Christmas scent that we don't get from the Christmas tree because we have a fake tree. And because this is in water and the one in the bathroom's in soil, I thought it was the best way to try to bring in that authentic scent. And then the last two little things that we have as far as decor are this little bell. I did want a vintage bell. I'm probably still going to try to find one, but I got this one at Home Goods last year, right after Christmas. I actually found it after I already packed everything away. And then I found these cute little glass. I found this in my little vintage stash and I thought, oh my gosh, these are kind of cute to bring out and just sit on a stack of books. It's almost like Santa's little glasses. That is pretty much all that I have this year. And one thing about my Christmas decor, and I mentioned this before, is it, I treat it like my home decor. Every year I get a couple new things and just try to grow my collection. And I don't change it every year. I don't do themes every year. I tend to stay with some of the same stuff because I am collecting over time. For example, these like vintage ornament balls I've collected over time. These I've collected over time and I just collect over time and that's why I keep things pretty consistent and try to keep it as timeless as possible. Another thing that I think is super important to me around Christmas time is scent. Again, that's why I bring in as much fresh greenery as I can, but also having candles that are in your favorite Christmas scent. This is the Candy Cane and Pine from Iconic Scents, but I also love Bath and Body Works uh, Marshmallow Fireside. There's one by Jill Malone. There's so many amazing scents around the holidays, but I think that it allows, especially if you're hosting, 
It allows your friends and family to kind of log that scent as a memory. So if you're hosting Christmas or if you are having people over for Christmas Eve or you know having a Christmas dinner, get a special new scent. So that way when they smell that scent again, it will remind them of the time that they spent Christmas Eve at your house or Christmas or whatever the case. Scent is so important, especially for our memories. Okay, so I'm gonna do my Christmas tablescape in this video. Usually I'll do a second video, but I decided to go ahead and include it in this video. Just in case there's any of you who like to do a specialty table for Christmas dinner or Christmas Eve or holidays or you know whatever or you just want to do a wintry table. So right now I actually just put the garland that I shared with you guys that's all over our house just because I know a lot of you bought this garland. I know a lot of you have this garland or if you have any other garland or if you want to go pick up garland. But generally what I'll do is the the extra greenery that I have in the kitchen, I will put that fresh greenery in the center of the table. That's what I did last year for our table. But I thought for the purpose of this video, I would do this one. This is actually a lot more lush because it's two garlands in one. So I kind of like the thickness and fullness. Now it's just Zach and I, this is obviously a lot bigger than for the two of us. So you could do something small, but if you're doing like a full blown table, this garland's actually really luscious and really nice. I am reusing the olive tapered candles that I use for my Thanksgiving tablescape. So it's essentially green on green, but you can use white or red or whatever color that you like. And I got these off of Amazon, so I will try to find those and link those down below. They are quite old, but I'll look for them. I think the holiday season is such a fun time to bring out your specialty plates. These are plates that I recently got from Zara but we're not using these as like everyday plates, so I think it's fun to use these. The one thing you wanna make sure that you do is steam your tablecloth and linens before you put them out. As you can see, I did not, however, if I were having guests over, I definitely would, or if it was Christmas or Christmas Eve dinner for Zach and I, I would as well. Okay, and this is my 2021 Christmas tablescape setup. Obviously, I would add out water glasses and bring the food maybe put along the back. It's just my husband and I, so because there's only two of us, that's why I did a table setting for two. But obviously, if you have more people, replicate this table setting down the table and on the other side. And bring out your salt and pepper shakers or anything that butter, things like that, that's gonna be you know, what you need for your dinner. But this is this year's look. Another thing that I wanted to be sure of is everything that I had on this table is items that I already had in my house and be able to reuse them. As you guys can see, I use the same tablecloth as my other video. These are our everyday flatware. These are some specialty dishes that we have, but we already had those in our champagne glasses. These candles are from the Thanksgiving tablescape, and then the greenery is part of our Christmas decor. So I wanted to be able to reuse items that I already had and not feel like I had to go out and get new things. So I hope that you guys like this. I think it's very beautiful. All right, you guys, and that is my 2021 Christmas home tour. That is how I decorated this year. I really wanted it cozy a little whimsical, a little overgrown, but also a little luxe and glitzy, I guess you could say. So let me know what was your favorite part of my Christmas tour. Thank you so much again, Karma, for partnering with me on today's video, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye.